From Nova Point 2023, the role module has a new function called layer properties. The layer properties lets you set the material and the detailed description of it. And based on that information, the different layers will be split out into different objects. If we go into the road tool, we will see in the pavement description that we now have some new buttons. Here we see that we have some buttons for how to display the properties. And at this point, we don't see anything new in this view. But if you expand to show all, you will see two extra rows per surface, where it's possible to add material. If you don't set any material, but only use the inherit function, it will inherit from a new properties tab that we have here. These show the materials that is set by default, but it's also possible to change the material here. Previously, this information was stored on the conversion rule, but now it's stored here inside the model. If we go to this view here, we will see that we now can add different materials. If we go down to the bicycle path, we see that we can set materials here as well, and we will do that for the sub-base. By default, it's set to crush stone in the properties, but we can here set that it should be of gravel, for example. And then we will see that all these other parts of the sub-base will be crushed stone, as we see here, while the bicycle path will have gravel. By rebuilding the road, we will see that this information gets added to the objects. So now we see that they have slightly different textures because they have slightly different material. Looking at the properties, we see that this object is set to crush stone, while this object has gravel. If you would like to expand with more information related to this material, you can now add a detailed material description. Let's say that this is a gravel of this fraction. When you build the model, you will see that this information gets added. We now have an aggregate of gravel with a detailed material description of 11 to 63 millimeter in this case. Let's switch to a different view. Here we have a presentation setup that focuses on the material that we have. So if I have either asphalt, crushed stone, sand or gravel, I can show them with different types, type one to four. And inside the design, we can add information related to that. Let's add a type three for that part. For the shoulder, we can add material type of crushed stone type one. Now let's write type two instead. And then for a carriageway, we will have type one. We will now see that they are split into different parts, like this. So based on the different combinations of material and the detailed description, they will draw in a different way. And here I've just chosen some random textures for it to show. 
We can also see the same thing on the road pavement. So that if I decide to dis define that we have a type one, well, let's, let's add it to the right side instead. Type one on the carriageway wearing course, we will now see that we have some different material for that part. So the wearing course on this side now has asphalt of type one. Wearing course on this side is only asphalt. In addition to this, the thickness is added to the objects. For this object, we see that we have a thickness property of four centimeters. If I set the shoulder to have a different thickness on the left side, we will then see that it's split into a separate object. We see now that this is a separate object. The thickness is 39 millimeters. This object is 40 millimeters, which is also the case for this one. If you want to draw this a different way, we can, instead of having a material focus, we can draw it with a thickness focus. So now we see that we have a road where all these green layers are less than four centimeters. And those that are four to less than 10 centimeters are orange, etc. If you want to make a road with this information on it, you can do that from the templates and you make a road that is version 2.1. So that refers to the task version on the road task. You see that the road that we just worked on is a version 2.1. If you make a version 2.0, it will be the same type as you have used before. This row model will be like we know it from before. It looks the same, everything is the same. It is a task version of 2.0. If you go in and want to upgrade it to a 2.1, you can select this button to upgrade the task. It asks you if you want to upgrade to 2.1, and you can check the release notes for more information. Do that and continue your work and you have upgraded your task. If you don't like to upgrade, you can just continue like before without this new functionality.